Hello, Pisces. Welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network, you guys. Thank y'all so much for being here. We are going to do a reading that consists of the most important thing that Spirit wants you to know. And we're going to use these energy oracles. So if you want to stick around, be sure to like the video, you guys. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. And we're going to find out the most important thing you need to know. Anything about the channel that you need to know is going to be in the description box below. And if the reading is resonating, what we do over here, we put the brains in the comments or one brain. It's your choice. That lets me know that you know that the reading is resonating for you. Okay. Also, to amplify this positivity that we are cultivating over here, we put our affirmations and our gratitude list in the chat. And we amplify it with each other's positivity, protection, and love, okay? I affirm that whatever you guys are going through will be resolved. And it is resolved already. The proof will be displayed to you very soon, okay? Whatever that is that you're going through, it has been resolved. What you have to understand, Pisces, is that you have to let it be resolved in the way that the universe means it to, the way that God means it to, the way that justice prevails and no matter what that situation is own it eat it transfix it transmute it and push it out with positivity let it flow through you okay so what is the most important message at this time guardian angels archangel spirit guides and ancestors formerly God for pisces Rest and rejuvenation, okay? Some of you may be coming out of a resting period. Some of you may be trying to balance the rest that you have, the times in which you get rest. I felt like that was weird. Mm -hmm. It's a little weird. Your sleep schedule may be a little weird. Things may be a little thrown off. It felt a little thrown off. I'm just going to leave it like that, and we're going to take it how it is. But I feel like there's a sleep issue that could be coming to a close very soon. Okay. I feel like there's a feeling of being drained that could be coming to a close very soon. I feel like you guys have been a little closed off, maybe from your spirit team, maybe from your ancestors. You've been asking for a break. Um, you've been saying that you just kind of need to get yourself together. Okay, some of the messages that you may have been receiving as of late may have been very strong and it could have exhausted you. I know this solar, what was it? It was a solar eclipse that we just had. That sucker took everything out of my soul. Okay, it drained me. It was like a, a, a detox, a soul detox. It was like, uh, yeah, pretty much. I feel like this is partially things that you may want to do, need to do, feel like you need to do, but also things that you're incorporating into like a routine. Okay, so we're going to read it both ways because it kind of came out sideways because this is the most important message for you. Take it however side it resonates for you. Now, it says rest and rejuvenation relaxation and meditation this card shows a man in a meditative and tranquil state the message here is that it's time to relax you may have been busy lately but you should soon be finding more time to just let go when you do allow yourself to go within and open up to the peace and wisdom that are vibrating there this card upright indicates that there should be more leisure time for you now and more of an opportunity to engage in peaceful thinking so take, I was going to say take a priority. So make it a priority. Your connection to spirit brings great assistance, but it can only be achieved through regular relaxation and meditation. Now is a great time to make sure you insert this gentle activity into your daily life. In many ways, this is far more productive than unceasing action. And that's what I was kind of feeling from a lot of y'all. It's like you're learning how to incorporate consistent resting phases into maybe your day, your week, your month, whatever it is that you find 
necessary when it comes to the regularity or repetition, that's where you're incorporating those new ways of thinking. And you may look at relaxation in different ways. Some of you may actually meditate. Some of you may do yoga practices. Um, some of you guys may go on a walk in your neighborhood. Some of y'all may read a book. Some of you may watch a funny TV show or something that you really enjoy. But it helps you to relax. It helps you to unwind. Now, in reverse, it says when the rest card is reversed, it could it could portend a time of bustling activity and seemingly unending business. You may be required to take more action concerning a project or a situation. Allow yourself to do what's needed, but always remember to schedule some leisure time for yourself. When you hurry through life without a break, it fragments your energy and creates an abrasive life force, causing potential frustration in all sorts of ways. Be careful not to let endless tasks take you away from yourself. The have to items on your list may be calling you, but this card reverse is telling you, take the time to meditate, rest, and relax. Now, the affirmation for you guys is, I make relaxation a part of my daily life. Peace and quiet bring me clarity and joy. So y'all say it as well. I make relaxation a part of my daily life. Peace and quiet brings me clarity and joy, okay? And y'all say that affirmation as much as you possibly need to. I feel like being that this is the most important message at this time, I do feel like you guys are incorporating both sides of that card. So some of you may be coming into a very busy time after a point of relaxation where you have to remember to keep those same practices as when things may not have been as busy. Some of you may be coming out of a very busy time where you need to devote a specific amount of time to rest and relaxation, but you also need to maintain, you know, your flow, your schedule, all those types of things. But you're knowing that, you know, you've been moving a little too fast and you need to slow down. And some of you may be kind of in the middle. So I feel like that's what spirit really wants you to know. They don't want you to break yourself. They don't, they don't want you to break yourself. They don't want you to be in a position where you're always exhausted, okay? Or where you, you know, struggle to feel energized or you struggle to feel fulfilled. There needs to be a balance here on all sides, okay? What else do my Pisces need to know when it comes to, one more time. What else do my Pisces need to know when it comes to this most important message? There's something that you're going to learn. The Hierophant was at the bottom originally right here. I feel like there's something that you're going to learn or something that you're going to see um, either about yourself or about your outside world, about a person, however it is. You're going to see something during these resting times, during these relaxation times. Um, you're going to learn something about yourself. It's possibly something about your process. Um, when you relax, it's like it's easier for you to focus on your process, to regroup, to come back together. Um, when there's a battle, spiritual battle, physical battle, whatever, there's a time to be on the offensive and there's a time to be on the defensive. And sometimes... You know, we get stuck in a defensive mode and without that rest and rejuvenation, we won't know how to counteract that part of our energy. We won't know how to come off of defense mode in order to go into maybe offense mode or, um, you know, just a median ground. Okay. For Pisces, what is the most important message for any angels of angels? Spirit guides and ancestors. The page of wands. Yeah. So this is a confirmation that you guys um, need to get more rest. You have the knight of swords and the ten of swords. Yeah. There may be someone who is calling you or texting you or messaging you while you're sleeping. They may be trying to cut your relaxation time short. They may be trying to tell you something that they feel like is important. 
um, or send you some type of message that they feel like is important, but you're sleeping or you're resting. Some of you may need to put your phone on do not disturb at certain times of the day to give yourself peace of mind from people who may be trying to disturb your peace. Okay, because there's somebody here, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong Gemini, um, who may be disturbing your peace in some way. Okay, there may need there may need to be a boundary that's set here. Uh, there may also be this. It may that be that a Gemini is wanting to communicate with you about a situation that they were going through, maybe that they dealt with. That it's like they're coming back home. This could be a child. This could be a a friend or a sibling. But it's like somebody's coming back home and they want to immediately tell you about all the things that they may have had going on throughout the day or that they may have experienced. This is helping you learn how to take control of your emotions. Take control of a conversation if need be. Setting boundaries about like when people can contact you, when people can speak to you. I feel like you're sending a message, Pisces. You're sending a message to the people around you who you inhabit, cohabitate with, the inhabitants of your home, the rules of your home, the rules of your boundaries. Like I feel like you're expressing these things to people. This may be a this may be people at work or people who you live with, but you're setting a boundary with people when it comes to when they can talk to you, what they can talk to you about, how they can address you. And I don't think it's pushy necessarily. I feel like it's very firm, but also like understanding in a way. Like you're cutting something off very cleanly. You're setting a clean boundary. Okay. But you're also, you know, you're doing it from a loving space. That's what it feels like to me. Okay, what else is the most important message? New perspective. Yeah. Yep, this is confirming a new perspective that you have to relax. That you can't be killing yourself out here to do things that you feel like have to be done, that you need to allow it to happen in the time it needs to happen and allow the flow to flow. Yeah, this is about your relaxation time. Somebody could have been messaging you or disturbing you during your nap time or something like that because I don't care. I'm grown and I definitely nap. Somebody could have been texting you or calling you during this time. Okay. And you put an end to that because you basically set a boundary with this person about when and if they can contact you. Um, and for what reason, you know, when and if they can contact you, this could also be, um, a message coming in about a trip, a trip could have been canceled. Now you could have canceled something else to take a trip so that you can get rest or a trip may have been canceled, but you're looking at it from a newer, a new perspective. Okay. Let's see what else. You're not going to be stressed about it. It's kind of like whatever comes in, whatever confirmation that you receive, whatever message that you receive, emails, texts, even maybe stuff in the mail. It's like you're just taking it with a grain of salt. And it's like, I'm not going to stress about something maybe in the future or I'm not going to stress about the outcome of a situation. I'm just going to do what I feel like God is calling me to do. Okay, something has ended, but your perspective of this ending has changed. And you're getting confirmation that your new perspective is something that you should expand upon, something that you should explore more, something that you maybe should hold with you through other 
experiences in your life because you feel like it's a more peaceful perspective, okay? Can't tell you what it is. You know what it is, okay? This is also confirming that you don't need to be so uptight about situations, Pisces, okay? So somebody could be coming in with some type of romantic gesture, and I don't think you're taking it as serious as you may have taken it in the past. You're you're seeing the whole situation from a higher perspective. We have makeup and image and reputation. So somebody irritated you. They're trying to make up with you. I don't know for what, but they irritated you. So they're going to do some type of romantic gesture to make up for um, whatever they did because they want you to see them in a better light. Uh, but you may have this person on do not disturb. I don't think you blocked this person. I just feel like you have them on do not disturb. And you're taking time that you need to relax. Or you've set a boundary with this person and completely cut them off. They're not going to let you just cut them off. I'm telling you, this is not a source. They coming in to say something. Um, they're not going to let you just put them on do not disturb all the time. They finna be saying stuff. I don't know who this is, Spicy. But they got something that they want to give you with this romantic gesture. You may be like, hell no, we won't go. Um, but some of you may, you know, that's how you play in the game. So, you know, but one thing about it that you are not is pressed. <laughs> <laughs> what is the advice for Pisces? One thing about it that you are not is pressed. Okay, we have Unikite living in the now. Exactly. You're living in the current present moment. Um, and that's what I felt like when it comes to this decision making, when it comes to this new perspective that you've adopted that you want to keep um, holding on to is to be in the present moment. You're not going to allow anything to take you out of this present moment thinking because you've realized that it allows you to be less stressed, um, not having to worry about the past or anything in the future. Just, you know, preparing in your present moment for the future, but not worrying about the future. Malachi, it's time to transform. Exactly. And Aquamarine, go with the flow. See what I'm saying to you? Did I lie at once during this reading? Did, did I lie one time? I did not. Because you are going with the flow. You're living in the now. It's allowing you more peace. Some of you may even be, you know, lighting you up one, relaxing. Okay. But someone is worried about their image and reputation here. And they want you to kind of stick with them. They don't want you to give up on them in this situation. Okay, remember your affirmation. It was on page uh, 19. Let's read it again. Your affirmation is, I make relaxation a part of my daily life. Peace and quiet bring me clarity and joy. Okay, let's say it again. I make relaxation a part of my daily life. Peace and quiet bring me clarity and joy. Amen. It sure does. So one final piece of advice for Pisces. You're releasing things. You, you're Anything that's happening at this particular moment, is, if it's not directly affecting you in the moment, you're not allowing it to hold space in your mind, heart, soul, or spirit, okay? What is the overall advice for Pisces? Oh, swim away, child. Choose wisely and completion, yeah. So something may be over with for you. Someone may be trying to make up and I just think that you're just not taking them seriously anymore or you just feel like the situation is over and down with and you're chilling, you're not worried about it. And this person could sneak up on you and be like, gotcha, bitch. I'm not done yet. Okay. I'm just letting you know, somebody is going to come some, with some type of romantic gesture and this may cause you to look at this person differently. This may be the type of way that they do things. However it works for you, whether it works for you, it doesn't work for you. Spirit is telling you to choose wisely. And if you're going to swim away, be about it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. But if you're going to stay, be about it. That's your choice. Like, make a choice and be done with it. That's what I kind of feel like this is saying. Like, once you make a choice and you decide to take action, don't second guess yourself. Stick with your choice. You have every right to change your mind later if you want to. But stick with your choice. And do what you feel like you need to do until you feel like you need to do something else. So, boom. That's what I got for you, Pisces. Thank you for being here. I love you guys. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to subscribe. Leave the brains in the comments if it resonated. Put your affirmations and your gratitude list down there. And if you guys would like to donate to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Only if you would like. 
please do so by using the PayPal link in the description box below so we can make sure that your funds are getting to the rightful place, okay? Also, if you guys would like a personal reading, merch, or um, to join the membership for early access or exclusive content, use the description box links below, Pisces. And remember, shimmers. Who remembers the shimmers? Shimmers. This is our circle booze. Bye.